Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing as it is very much appreciated. Just got back from the markets, had a fantastic day. Um, got some really nice pieces. My local wood uh, rock bloke was there again, so I um, and he came through for me really well. Um, got some mukite, nice piece of mukite. This is um from Western Australia. It's um petrified mud basically or a jasper fantastic piece um nice red and yellow um it's a sparkable stone but um i didn't buy this as a sparkable stone but yeah um just as a display piece but seems to spark really well but yeah really really nice piece of mukite that's going up on the wall from the same bloke. I got a um, really nice piece. He had some fantastic points. Um, this is quartz point. These are naturally formed. They actually form like that. So that's not laser cut. They're naturally formed quartz point. Fantastic. Um, I didn't try this one. Quartz, we know, does spark. I'll probably end up shattering it. That's the only problem. It, it does spark. I don't want to spark on it, but um, I'll end up chipping it out. But, um, yeah, fantastic size point, that one. Beautiful. He also, this is what I, I actually asked him because he, um, he didn't have them last time I was there. Jasper arrowheads. Have a look at the size of these. I've got three of them. Beautiful, napped jasper arrowheads. I um that one there. That, that the smaller one is actually my favourite out of all of them. It's a beautiful piece. Fantastic work on it. I don't actually know where they're napped from but um yeah fantastic they're actually out of jasper not out of flint so but i love all that i always have loved these and you can actually wear them as necklaces um i don't actually you buy them for um what they're supposed to be done for but as you can see, they spark. But that's the idea with these is you put them as a necklace and then you've always got a piece of napped sharp edge stone around your neck. So that's um, a fantastic idea if you wanted, wanted to carry a piece of stone with you. Also got an obsidian arrowhead. It's a beautiful point there too. So uh, uh, just for the collection, i uh, uh, I didn't have one and couldn't go past it. Another bloke, the bloke I bought the um, mahogany obsidian off had a um, piece of petrified wood there, four bucks. Couldn't go past it. It's a nice piece. Sparks really well. Again, I didn't, um, I, didn't, I didn't buy it for any other reason, but I love petrified wood and I always like having display pieces around. Also got... Four more files. Two of them, I got them for three dollars fifty each, seven bucks. Wilkinshire files. So them, my preferred files, and I think these are all, yeah, they're all Wilkinshire. That one's a beauty, a rasp. Um, really thick, big Wilkinshire um, rasp, but that's going to make beautiful big strikers thick striker I don't know I actually didn't put it on didn't measure it but it looks like it to be about eight mils thick anyway yeah that one's going to be a beauty I don't know I might actually might make a knife out of that one I don't know I think it will be probably end up being a knife I don't know this one um and that that's a Wilkinshire Australia as well um for five bucks so yeah got some more files anyway so yeah fantastic Anyway, had a really good day. 
and got some excellent bits and pieces for my collection and some files for um, making into strikers. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm finally I was going to buy some um, steel from um, thingy, but I, from um, Gameco, but. I've got enough files now to keep me going for strikers for a, a good while, so I'll just won't worry about it at the moment because I've got I bought two last week and I've said so it's two, four, six files that I've got to, that'll keep me going for strikers for a, a while anyway. So anyway, thanks for watching.